Hi, in this video uh, from tvtrade.ie we're going to show you how you can set up your smartphone to view um, your DVR remotely um, over the internet, okay? So I'm actually making this video on um, an iPhone, but uh, procedures should be fairly similar um, on all types of phones, Android phones, Windows phones, things like this, okay? So the name of the program we're using, um, which is recommended for our, our range of DVRs, is a program called KMI, okay? And in another video in the series, we've shown you uh, how you can download this from the, from the App Store, okay? So we're just going to click into it here. So by default, uh, I've nothing set up in this at all, so um, we're just going to take you through that. So we'll just go to the settings page. So when I want to add a device, we'll just click on the plus symbol here. So we'll just call it, you can call it whatever you want. You know, some people might want to call it warehouse one, warehouse two, warehouse three, or maybe backyard, you know, driveway, you know, whatever you like yourself. But um, I just call it DVR anyway, okay? Now, the address is the important thing here, okay? What we've mentioned in other videos and on the technical pages on the TV Trade website is that we are only showing you how to do this using a static IP, okay? There is another type um, of addressing system you can use called Dynamic DNS, but th this process is, there's just, there's too many variables in this process already, and if we show you how to do Dynamic DNS, it's just going to introduce so many more variables and also on top of that not all routers will support certain types of it and it just gets very complicated so we're only showing you how to do this with a static IP now static IPs are at, are available from your broadband provider they don't cost that much they're relatively inexpensive they're quick to set up uh, you won't have to do any of the setup at all and also there are some companies that will actually give you a free one if you have a business account with them, for instance, Vodafone. Um, so that's basically it. So when you get your IP address, anyway, when you know what your actual IP address is, you can enter it here. Now I'm just going to enter a dummy one here, but it'll take this form. Okay, so it'll be three digits dot, three digits dot, three digits dot, three digits dot. Now if your broadband provider happens to give you one that has two digits in it, you put a zero in front of it. So just say they gave you one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That would mean that it would the last three digits would actually be zero one two okay so the next important thing here is the port okay so we've shown you this in another video when we were setting up the the mobile section inside the dvr itself that the port is one five oh sorry five nine six one okay so that's very important okay because um We've opened up, uh, sorry, that's the port it's looking for on the network, so that's basically how it'll get through to you, okay? And in the video on the routers, now we've only shown the router, the aircom router, but depending on the type of router you're setting up also, you would have opened up this port inside there also, okay? The next thing then is to enter your user ID and password, and we've shown that in a previous video on when we were setting up the, the mobile section of the DVR. So we'll just say for argument's sake, it's something like, you can call it whatever you want, but you would have had this set up. Um, inside the router, so you just have to copy them settings basically. So for argument's sake, we'll say we called it admin and we put the password as something stupid like 1234, which we would never recommend anybody do, okay? Because, you know, it's the first thing that anyone will try when they're trying to get into your machine, okay? So never set it up like that, but, you know, make, make something semi-complicated, but at the same time, something that you will remember, okay? So that's basically it, and then you just... Um, you can scroll down here and you can see max channels. Now, you know, most people tend to use four or eight channel DVRs. You know, people could be using 16 or 32, but, you know, for argument's sake, I'm just going to say I'm using up to eight channels, okay? And then you just save. So you can see by the eight channels, it just gives me the eight channels available here. If I said 16 to be 16 in this list, four to be four, you know, you can use your own imagination there. So if you just want to view a particular channel then, all you have to do is basically just click on channel one. Now, obviously this isn't going to work because I've just put in a, a pile of rubbish as regards my IP address and settings and stuff like this. Once you put in the correct settings, uh, this will connect. Now, the thing to note is you are always better to be connecting via Wi-Fi. Okay, you'll just get a far more reliable connection. Picture quality will be better. There won't be frame drops, things like this. If you're using 3G, it's all going to depend on the quality of your connection. And from our experience now, we're just 
you know, when we had it set up, we drove out the country and basically just tried to see how well the 3G worked. There were some locations that actually worked really well, but then there was other locations we just couldn't even connect. You know, we were only getting one or two bars, basically, of um, 3G signal and it just wouldn't work. So you're always better to use um, uh, Wi-Fi if where available. But, you know, the fact that 3G is available, it can be handy in certain situations. So that's basically it. Um, how you configure uh, the KMI app on your iPhone um, to access uh, your DVR remotely.